bring you the latest edition of NBC News with me, Kumbukani Piri, and Lynn Mponda, my sign language interpreter tonight. Our top stories. President Chakwira hails business players in Mangochi for their resilience in building the sector in the face of climate shocks. Family of the former late vice president, Dr. Salus Chilima, speaks strongly against misinformation and fake news on the death of their relative. And in business news, a train carrying 800,000 liters of fuel offloads at Blanta Depot after rail rehabilitation. Well, I'm glad you could join us. President Dr. Lazos Chokwera has hailed business players in Mongochi for their resilience in rebuilding the sector in the face of climatic shocks that hit the Lakeshore District due to rise in water levels on Lake Malawi. Dr. Chakwera made the remarks during an interaction with local business leaders in the district. Owen Mavula with a report. State President Dr. Lazarus Chakwera took time to visit and engage with local business leaders in the Lakeshore district of Mangochi. First to inspect was Rosalind's Beach, one of resort hotels in the district. During the visit, the president was taken through the facility where he was briefed on progress of its operations months after scaling down operations due to rise in water levels on Lake Malawi. From there, the Malawi leader visited Cement Products Limited, Njereza plant, which is located in the area of traditional authority, Nankumba. Managing director for the company, Akba Gafa, told the president that at the moment the company is able to produce about 1,000 metric tons of cement per day against a capacity of 1,500 metric tons a day due to challenges in accessing raw materials. Addressing journalists after inspecting the businesses, Dr. Chagwera said he is impressed with the commitment shown by local business players in improving the sector. You're talking about the tourism industry. Um, I just wanted to appreciate what uh, Rosalind's uh, Beach Resort is doing. Um, you know, they have issues here. Uh, most of Mangochi has suffered because of the rising levels of the lake uh, water levels and uh, they've been resilient and so we are grateful for people that stick in there despite the tough times and so we need to help them with infrastructure you know accessibility to these places wonderful places but it's Malawians who are investing knowing that um, if we are to become self-reliant we must have this type of investment after visiting the two sites, Dr. Jaguera also engaged business leaders at Makokola Retreat. Some notable figures present during the visit were Minister of Homeland Security Ken Zikale Ngoma, Minister of Trade Sosten Gwengwe, Presidential Advisor on Economic Affairs Chancellor Kafira Banjira, Heads of Government Departments and Traditional Leaders. Owen Mavula, MBC, Mangochi. The family of the former late Vice President, Dr. Salus Chilima, has spoken strongly against misinformation and fake news on the death of their relative. The statement was made during the memorial service of Dr. Chilima at Nsipe Catholic Ground in Cheo. Timothy Kateta reports. According to a family representative, Joshua Valera, members of the public should stop spreading fake news over the death of Dr. Chilima with an intention of igniting anger and hatred amongst the citizenry in the country. Varela, who is the cousin to late Chirima, disclosed that as a family, they would continue mourning the late vice president, hence the need for people in the country to respect the soul of Chirima by embracing mindset change and work hard toward the prosperity of the country. He added that Chirima loved this country and members of the public should emulate his example of being patriotic and always contributing something to the social, economic, and political development of the country. In his speech, Nkosi Amakosi Goman V echoed sentiments by Varela and described Chirima as a loyal, dedicated, and differential counselor or MP of the Ngoni King, who is also known as the Ngwenyama. Nkosi Gomani further added that people in the country 
should continue respecting the soul of Chirima by being good citizens with a passion for their motherland. He noted that Chirima was a hard-working, loyal, strong and committed MP who was popularly known as Bieni. Apart from Vice President Dr. Michael Ousi, the mass was attended by top government officials, traditional leaders, politicians and members of the public. Almost eight bishops from Malawi and neighboring Zambia attended the mass, which was led by Bishop Peter Adrian Chifukwa of Deza Diocese. Meanwhile, the Chirima family has donated the cross of Jesus Christ to Msipe Palish as a symbol of commitment to continue praying with the church. Timothy Kadeta, NBC News, Msipe Ncheo. Government says it is geared to support families of people who lost their loved ones in the July 20, 2011 mass protests in Mzuzu. Minister of Local Government and Culture Richard Chimwendo Banda was speaking at Zorozoro Cemetery in Mzuzu during a memorial service in honor of the 20 July 2011 victims. Grant Mohango has compiled this report read by Jackson Sichali. In exercising their constitutional rights of assembly and expression on 20 July 2011, sons and daughters came out into the streets to express their dissatisfaction with the then leadership. 20 people lost their lives having gunned down in cold blood by the police. Since then, people from all walks of life have been gathering at Zorozoro Cemetery in Mzuzu as part of the commemorations of the departed souls. Representing the state president, Dr. Lazarus Shewera, minister responsible for local government, culture and unity, Richard Chimondo Banda, assured the gathering that this year's theme towards healing and closure is timely as government is geared to finding lasting solutions towards helping the families. The event also tells us that dialogue and contact is very critical. As government, priority is that when people have got issues, we should sit down, talk and discuss and find a way forward. Violence has no any space in our democracy in the country. Malawi must remain one and Malawi must move as one. And the president is calling for national unity for Malawians. And where there's disagreements and misunderstandings, Malawians should sit down together and find a way forward. On her part, a representative of the families, Mesem Fun, commented.